today at the National Life Chain. Uh, we are here with Val Hetrick. Val, can you tell us a bit about this, what's going on? Sure. Um, the Life Chain is an international, or should say national, life chain. Uh, this has been going on for probably, oh, I didn't do my, my math today, but it's probably close to 30 years now. Uh, it's an opportunity for people to meet together and we stand for one hour in prayer and solidarity with our unborn brothers and sisters and for victims of euthanasia. We also pray for victims of abortion, as in the mothers uh, who have sought to find some kind of a solution to abortion and have been given no other option. Uh, so we, we, we stand in solidarity, we stand in prayer. It's non-conflictual, it's non-confrontational, it's just an hour of prayer. As our Lord said, stay with me for one hour in prayer, and that's the whole intention behind this. Well, thank you, Val. I think Val covered it for the most part. Um, we're not here to judge others, it's, we're here out of love for others, um, because uh, we see the effects of abortion, how it's ripping a society apart and um, these are human beings like you and I who uh, deserve to be respected, cared for, uh, loved and protected. Uh, they deserve the right to life and so we're just here to stand for them uh, and be a voice for those who have no voice. Well, thank you so much. And what was your name again? Uh, it's Brett Rubinsky. Yeah, it's over 2,000 life chains so we're, we're all in solidarity um, and it's standing. So we have two signs, one, or two or three signs. One is uh, abortion hurts women and abortion kills children. You can take either of the signs that you feel comfortable with. Um, we may also have signs that say, I regret my abortion. And if you are a post-abortive woman and you feel comfortable doing that, please feel free. Um, the the it's very important that we do not respond to anyone that engages with us. Um, I'll be walking around. Garth is a team captain. Um, Robert, if, if he gets here, is here, he'll, he'll be able to team. Okay, he's not able to come. Okay, is a team captain. Um, so Garth, uh, yeah. Brett is here too. And Brett, okay, and Brett is here. Um, so we'll deal with anybody that wants to talk. Because um, sometimes there is. Usually, actually, people drop off coffee. Um, um Make sure that you are a good, like, arm's length. Like, if you, you if you're standing like this and your arms can social touch. Social distance. Yeah, social distance. <laughs> if you like stand like this, everybody's six feet. Um, then you're too close together. Um, so you want to spread out because as people drive past or by driving past quite quickly, you want to have more of an impact by being um, spread out. Also, our numbers are a little lower this year. And anybody who's been here before knows that the years that it is sunny and beautiful and you want to tan, People, it's like we have less people, and the years that you have to wear a parka, there's lots of people here. So that's just the irony of life. Um, so we're going to be along this side of Second Avenue. I'll have a team that will cross the road and go on the other side and stretch all the way out. We never go in front of businesses. Um, very rarely do you have anyone from the houses that uh, come out or anything, but if they do, just have, come see me. Um, but yeah, like just spread out really good on the other side and then this side of 2nd Avenue and stop before we get to the lots with the restaurants. Um, I will need someone who is very familiar with to be the person that leaves going that way and the person that leaves going this way. So if you feel comfortable with that, come see me. Um, any questions? Oh yes, okay. So the police also have asked that when you're standing on the sidewalk, do not stand on private property, but you stand on the back of the sidewalk with basically your heels touching the edge of the sidewalk so that anyone passing, you're not affecting any um, anybody walking. We still want them to be able to get away. We do not take our signs and fling them into the, uh, into the traffic or into people's faces. We're just holding them nicely in front of us, maybe slightly tilted, just for angle, your angle.